My favorite comment is, it's always nice that Spencer takes his time out of his day to guest star these podcasts. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I might actually hit him up. Maybe get a collab going. Honestly, that would be that kind would be... of really funny. Hey, what if one time we have him as a guest and you guys start off with Sean being out of the podcast and Spencer in it? <gasps> That's such a good idea, huh? Nick, we had an idea. If we ever have Spencer as a guest... <laughs> He is Willie he in a Goody in a cat costume. Oh, it's hot. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. It's not like, you know. It's not like I'm gonna, a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna retract my answer and say no. <laughs> you cannot ask me. Wait, 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 wait. It's not like a. No, no, it's cool, bro. I said no. It's not no, good. no, no, no. Okay, fine. Cool, to the cool. girls. I think you guys have answered it. Okay, let's see it. If you had a doppelganger that looked exactly like you. Yes. Would you kill them? No, not, not that, not that. Would I f them? Yes. I would See, say no. I would. I've thought about this. You said you would? Yeah. And Wait, like yeah. a guy? Or like a girl? Oh, like if I was a guy or No 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 no. They are they are you are a woman and they are a woman. Same with the guys. Oh, like myself? Yeah. Like it's 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 uh, it's yes. a it's a woman. Actually, I if I think if I do that, I will achieve the most pleasure of my life and then never be satisfied again. It's Honestly, like that thing of like you're so right. guys sucking their own d like they can't go back oh, after yeah. that. Because we know exactly what we like. I don't know all the spots, everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it would, it would be. You're right. It's a, it's a, it's like taking Molly and having sex. I guess. It's, having having intercourse with yourself is like taking Molly. Yes, because apparently I have never, but I heard yeah. some people say that taking Molly on sex can be good, but also bad because it ruins sex for you. But I had I heard mixed reviews from both sides. Some people say that it doesn't matter because. Would I be down? Do you, do you, Absolutely. <laughs> do you think though that like oh I came undone? Oh, dude, you can just leave it like this. this Some people think it's fine because they say, like, <sighs> pizza is really good, right? And you were oh, going to have I've the heard, best I've, pizza. I literally heard, I literally heard this analogy <laughs> and, before. And you're going to have the best pizza oh, in your life. I'm going to change it to cookies. So you're going to have the best cookie of your life one day, right? But it's not going to ruin. I think ruin... I already had the best cookie of my life. Exactly. But did it ruin um, all the other cookies for you? You still like cookies. Yeah, the best cookie I had was at Disneyland. That's not, yes. the point. That's not the point of the story. But have you had the gingerbread cookies? But did it... <sighs> I can never... <laughs> Hold on. Keep going. But did it ruin all other cookies? It did not. It did not, right? Yes. So, that's like Molly. You might have the best sex of your life, but will it ruin all sex for you? No. Yeah. There you go. Now I see where the analogy was going. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Wait, why don't you Why don't you like that analogy? Because it just doesn't make sense. It does, though. How it do I agree with you. It makes sense. Thank you. I, mean, I had the best pizza in New York. Pizza's still good, but I'll never reach that high in my life again. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not—you're not, you're not just gonna stop eating pizza, though, right? Right. But that's not no, the sex you know is not what? the same the as pizza. Making though. sense, though. Exactly. No, it but is, it's though. Let sense. me ask something. Do you enjoy pizza? <laughs> this is not the Let same me ask pizza. you something. No, I don't. Let me. In general, you know though, I think you should just avoid having <laughs> on drugs. I have, a, I have a question. Do you think the best <laughs> of your life that you've ever had were you intoxicated? Absolutely oh. not. Absolutely not. I was all right. Stone cold sober. I don't know. Probably both. Wait, was I? 50 <laughs> 50. No, to I each their both. own. I would say that they probably go hand in hand. Hand in hand? The best I've ever had when I was intoxicated versus sober, I would say that they. Not intoxicated. Crazy. Not like, like, not like blacked out, but yeah, like. Yeah, no, but like maybe a little. Few, dr <laughs> few drinks in me. Like a, probably the best time of her life when I was intoxicated because I lost a long time. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm not intoxicated. It's bad. <laughs> it's, no. bad. it's like a NASCAR race. <laughs> Do you, lap, uh, do you, what do you, so what do you what do you think of when you're not trying to bust? What's your nah. go-to? <laughs> you said your grandma, right? You want me to answer this question? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I think of you sometimes. Or... Really? <sighs> honest. Honest. I think about Luke. Put it on your mom's life that you think of okay, me I sometimes. Okay. I think I've, th I think I've thought about Luke more than I've thought about you. <laughs> just yeah. because he turns you off, dude. Just he always has food on the sides of his mouth, and I just think about that and him Ew. eating. So I'm kind of just like, you know what I'm saying? I do math problems. Math problems are a good one. Math problems. Um. I always think about this uh, one um, Planet Earth episode where this like ladybug uh, gets eaten by an ant. No, an aphid. An aphid gets eaten by an ant. An aphid. I think about that alligator movie. Which one? You know what I'm talking about? Lake Placid? Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> one time it was like something I watched like right before. 
And I was not after that. I just thought about it all you the time. You know what's crazy? <laughs> I, I, you know what I did the other day? It's not the other day. I haven't had sex in a long time. It was probably, it's probably like four or five months ago. Um, I tried naming the n- names for all the Lord of the Rings movies from in order. That's f-ing genius. It went um, Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Then it was The Two Towers. Do you ever completely zone out though? Yeah. And you're just not even doing it? Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, wait, 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 I gotta lock back in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like flipping a switch. Lock wait, in, that's out. that's yeah. actually fucking um, interesting. Do you ever try and you you don't ever try to like not think about anything, right? Because y'all are just like in the moment. Do you ever like try and distract yourself when doing the deed? Actually, yes. Because because it, it's too, it feels like too good. Why do you distract yourself? You side there. Is it because you're not interested? <laughs> Sometimes the sex gets boring and the oh. man lasts too long, so I'm just like, oh. fuck. What are you thinking of though? <laughs> Not me, brother. Something to enhance the experience or just like, you're just like, I'm, I'm going to think of something stupid because I'm bored. Sometimes enhance the experience. Oh, you think about someone else, don't you? No. How you enhance the experience then? You're pretending you're Molly? <laughs> That's so funny. No, but um, actually, no, probably think of somebody else. Damn. Dude, but that, like a famous person or like people that you've been with? Think about somebody else's. Okay, this sounds. Wait, no, no, no. Honestly, like famous, like a famous person. If it's not, if it's not going well, are you thinking about a famous person or someone that you've been with already? I would hope it's just a famous person. Oh no. Okay, but listen, when I have a boyfriend, I obviously. No, that's like, fine. That's fine. We ain't talking about that. We talking okay, about. Okay, but sometimes I do be thinking about my exes. And I okay that that part though, it's like I can't control it. Sometimes. All oh, right, you just can't control it. I'm, that I've, a lot of guys have heard that before they got broken up with. Okay, but like, as long as I'm not dating the person, like usually when I'm dating the person, that's when like... You think I of all those know. those mean ass exes? Is that what you're saying? Okay, I mean, okay. Sometimes that's when I'm good bigger. though. What no, am I gonna do when the sex oh, is no, good? Oh no, we're not talking about oh, that. I'm not talking about that either. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? I don't know what the fuck we talking about. I think I, we, were, we were talking about Molly. I'd be so sad. I'd be so sad if one of my... This squeezing the out of my head, dude. It's, it's f***ed up, bro. You gotta fix it. Also, I was gonna say. It's supposed to look f***ed up a little bit. Oh, is it? Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. It's supposed to look squished. Oh, okay, go ahead. No, never mind. I don't have anything to say. Uh, uh, um, yeah, Mario, I don't, okay, know, if so you, I don't know if you should put that out there. Yeah, you can. That's not that bad. Usually, I don't know. She just said it's not her boyfriend that she's doing it with. Yeah. I would be super sad if one of my sneaky links, though, told me that she was thinking yeah, about her ex. Nah. I'd be like, what? What? That's so mean. Next, next time, guys, still hit though. <laughs> Are you the Pink Panther? No. You ever watch? Uh, that's Alice such a sick onesie, dude. Right? It's so soft. It's soft. He's gonna fall asleep in that tonight. <laughs> I be sweating. I'm not, yeah. I might be. You sweating everything, bro. True. Would you kiss yourself if you had a doppelganger, like guy? No. No. <laughs> Just to see like what you kiss like. <laughs> no, he's not me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, me neither. What about you? Nick. No, man. That's so. No weird no, no offense but i just that's so weird. no like you, the exact spitting image of you you know what i mean like you cloned yourself i, I, my get, bad. I, I didn't mean like a <laughs> like you cloned yourself like you cloned yourself Absolutely. not like <laughs> no, I'm that is still no, a man though. i don't think so that's yeah. still a human being that's another human being other than you no it's a clone even if it's a clone <laughs> I, I, but it's I, I, your clone meaning that it's another me yes yeah but it has not he the person has his own. What's the difference between making out with my clone and me making out with my arm? What the f? Lips, what? lips, <laughs> lips, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Um, if you uh, had a doppelganger and they were trying to take over your life and it was you and her in a room and you both are trying to convince Nick that you're the real one, do you have something that you would say that Nick would know mm. that it's you? Oh, yeah. yeah. I have a lot. You do? Yeah. <laughs> Ah uh, man, I would just know, bro. I would just know off the bat. I'd be like, "Yep, that one's annoying me more. That has to be Mario." Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Children. <laughs> yeah. And then I bought the other one. I don't know. What would you say to me? To you? Actually, I don't want to hear what you'd say. I'm just gonna. Are you are you attracted yourself? No. Uh, With this beard, yeah. <laughs> so are you not? Yo, you are. Ah uh, no, not really. You kiss your double game? No, I was just playing around. Did you could get a boner. I agree. <laughs> that's a great question that's it that's a great i guess if i'm a no, good kisser then yeah right i don't know i don't know have you ever kissed the mirror no no 
I haven't either. I'm just, no. just asking. <laughs> I've kissed the wall in my shower, practicing how to kiss. Ew, that's that's dirty that's as fuck. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like eight years old, ten years old. I was fifteen. Make it. Yeah, I was gonna, it's a little bit of a push. I don't know if I was thinking about kissing at eight years old. Guys, when I was younger, <laughs> I would pretend to be cool in my room alone. I did that. I did that too. I did. That I too. still do because that because I thought my crush was watching me. Yeah. Didn't you and Sage talk about that? Yeah. Hey, that no, that's pretty relatable. Right? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> just real quick, just real quick to go back to the whole like clone thing. Christine, you said that you think it'd be the best like sexual experience, pleasure, the best pleasure you'll ever experience in your life if there was another you. Your boyfriend's watching this. Would be terrible. <laughs> but I think if I did have sex with myself, it would be crazy out of this world. Like, just because I know my limits mm -hmm. and I know how far I can push myself without, like, going over that limit, without, like, you know, so it could be dangerous. Okay. <laughs> Why would it be dangerous? Because then I'll be, like, sad after. Oh. oh. <laughs> and I don't want to... Like a come like, down. Exactly. And it's, like, the same thing as, like, me not ever wanting to like have sex on drugs like um like molly or e or like really big uppers it's just like i don't want to one like ruin sex because like for me it's sacred well not sacred but like i don't want to <laughs> you're not listening to her i don't want to like forget about it gotcha gotcha gotcha, gotcha sometimes gotcha. like really drunk sex is fun but like yeah. you don't forget that it happened you know got you oh, okay that makes sense no that makes sense that makes sense um sage what do you think is the first thing was the last do? time we had sober sex damn damn let me think about that <laughs> december <laughs> when's the last time you had sex december december with who okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you wait what do you think is the first thing you do if you had a clone to all y'all got all you guys, but I want to start with Sage. A clone? Yeah. If you had another you, what, what is the I think first you thing you pick, do? Take a flick. Take a flick with him like a selfie. Yeah, right away. <laughs> Instantly. I don't think I would. You're, you apparently can't recognize yourself. What do you mean? I feel like if I saw myself yeah. walking yeah. by, <laughs> I'd be like, Yo, wait a minute, who the fuck is that? Because your perception of what you look like and who you are is different in your own head than what other people actually see, you know? like That is true. People always I tag me in these wrong. videos. No, I would know that that motherfucker's me from from across the table. Okay, true. If like somebody that? looked exactly like me, I would put it out. And do talk and laugh like this guy? You'd know it on the spot. But, like, you wouldn't... I mean, it, you wouldn't pay attention to every single face around you, but... I would try to do that thing where, like, you do a movement and see if they follow it. <laughs> That's the feeling I'd be like... And if he follows me, I just keep doing it. <laughs> what, are you, say, what, are you, what the fuck are you what doing? Are you yeah. Three, two, one. Pizza. Penis. Oh, what are you thinking of? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd probably say. I'd say, what's, what am I thinking of right now? It's like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> you ugly son of a bitch. Get out of here. <laughs> guys, I will say, though, a lot of you guys tag me and like videos or pictures of like other asian girls that look nothing like me they and do that like, with me too but not asian, asian girls? girls they do any they do. brown dude, any with, brown a dude with a mustache and and goatee that's what they tag me i'm yeah. like dude this guy looks Kevin nothing Ball? like question me. mark question mark sometimes kind of disrespectful i try to pretend like i don't see him like yeah. i'm so busy but i'm not fucking busy i see every single one that they tag me <laughs> christine do you get tagged in a lot of videos of like uh girls that look like you <laughs> do they look do you, anything do you like think you? they look like you no me too what? and like a lot of the times the people that are like um that the video is actually about like the that they say that i look like they'll respond back and be like no i don't oh um are the are they are you guys racist? yeah like i don't see it type thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah i think they're i think they're racist put a two in the comments if you're racist <laughs> Usually they are a different ethnicity or oh, different um, Asian yeah. than I am. Yeah. Like Chinese or yeah. I get like Vietnamese girls, sometimes Filipino girls that look nothing like you. And I'm like, I do not look Filipino at all. Crazy. I just see you being Filipino. Really? I see mm. Cynthia being Filipino. Oh, yeah, I, I do too. Cynthia got a lot of like, um, or we got a lot of like half Japanese, half Korean. Oh, I got Japanese. Maybe it's because of my name though. But I feel like I look a little Japanese. Wait, could you guys honestly wanna, tell the difference be between like? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to answer that question. <laughs> you can't tell the difference. Yeah, I, huh? I think I can. I, you're you Mexican. <laughs> no, no, I think I can. Between like Japanese and Chinese and Korean people, like, can not, you guys? Maybe not yeah, Japanese not like and <laughs> and. Uh, it's not racist. No, I don't think it's racist. I think they just have like um, 
like, a, like a Mexican dude, you know? You can yeah. tell he's a fucking Mexican dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can tell my Latinos. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but do you know where they're from, though? Like Mexico, yeah. Dominican Republic? Like that would depend on their accents and yeah. shit. Colombian. Like, I mean, it's got the Barcelona. Evita. That's okay, Spanish. I guess Latinos are kind of hard, too. But you could tell when someone's, like, Colombian or, like... Or you can tell when someone's, like, a L.A. 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 native? Yeah. <laughs> Make you move on. You can, like, tell sometimes, like, what area... Especially if you like, grown up local in O.C., like, what area of O.C. they might yeah. be from. Oh, that's most that's okay, okay. Where from? Um, Florida. Santa Ana. Yeah. Uh, San- okay, same thing, though. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wait, is, isn't Santa Ana right there? No. Oh, Never mind. I got no. mixed up with Anaheim. Sorry, y'all. No, Anaheim, yeah. Damn. Anaheim is kind of similar to Santa Ana. Crime, Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Jeez. What? Oh, yeah. my God. Nick, are you on drugs today? <laughs> nah, dude. I'm, I'm totally sleep deprived, bro. I woke up at 8 a.m. I have You're not slept. you saying some random? 8 a.m. I have not slept. I went to bed at like 2 a.m. Same. Yeah. Your meeting was that Oh, you woke up. Uh, Christine, you want to go in and start it? Hello, ladies and Gentlemen, welcome back to Suburb Talks. Oh, welcome back to another episode of Suburb Talks. I'm your host, Christine. Wait, I thought you the just The Queen of Hearts. No, Maru, no did. Maru did. Oh, that's racist. That's, that's racist. That's racist. <laughs> yeah? yeah. <laughs> Look at you, Sage. <laughs> Wait, are you, you swear? Oh, no, you did. You did. I thought you hosted right before her, though. I know. I thought I hosted recently too. Yeah, but we're doubling up, so it's right. Like, it just feels oh, like it feels like it's ready. Yeah. You know, to double it. You know, I had to double it. I'm your host, the Queen of Hearts, Christine. To my left, I have uh, bald baby number one. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> yeah. he's a, Wait, I don't know. He's a big bald baby. One of them. The, the, you know, like the twins. Oh, they're babies. Damn. Yeah, I think so. Did you take my phone? No, you're, you're yeah, I jacked it. <laughs> Yo, you look like you're on drugs right now. I'm fucking tired, man. Do I actually? Do I actually look like I'm on drugs? Yeah, your eyes are like wide. You stare at me like this. Don't they have a British accent in the movie? Oi, Gavna. No. <laughs> Oi, Gavna. Gavna. <laughs> I don't think they say that. Though. Gavna. What do they say? They say that. That's what they say. Can we talk no, in a British not. accent? Oh, it was him. Mate. Oh yeah, that's that's how they. No, no, man. No, not no. that. That's that's Australian. The oh, the tweedle, the the tweedlers, the tweedles. Are these are they thumbs? Tweedlers. Christine, oh, well, really. why do I think of thumbs whenever? I don't, I don't no, that's tweedles. another. That's Spy Kids. Yeah. The tweedles. Yes. The thumb ninjas. <laughs> Wait, what, what are they called? The tweedles. Me. The tweedles. Okay, so I'm tweedle. I'm I'm tweedle one. Tweedle one and tweedle. Yeah. Okay. Who's that guy? I don't know the, the fuck Mad I am. Hatter. I'm the Disney Prince. And you're the Cheshire Cat. Cheshire Cat. Give me, give me a, give me a roar. Uh, wait, no. What does he say? Or what is he saying? It. <laughs> give me a meow. Do, do a sexy meow. Oh. Why haven't we done Star Wars? Oh, put it on the Can list. Can you do a sexy meow <laughs> for the people? Like, do I do like a meow or like a like a like a roar? Like a meow, <laughs> but like. Oh. Very um, very like if hot meow. Made costumes? Would you guys wear them? Made? made? If they're like, if they're like oh, lingerie last, made costumes, one hundred percent. A long time ago, guys wearing made costumes was like the hype. I'm super down. Who have we introduced? Everybody? We all good? I don't know. I need to. I, already, right already, I don't know. What my name is. I said the prince. You're the Mad Hatter, bro. I've told you five times. I'm today. the Mad Hatter. <laughs> Tell me how mad you are. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I am Alice in Wonderland, which uh, we're gonna oh. see. Sorry, in Coachella. I am the Cheshire Cat. Do the Rare. <laughs> I'm the thriller. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does the cat oh. say? He has a he has a phrase. He has a phrase. I thought I thought you did have a phrase. Do you want to go to Narnia? Something like that. Like wrong movie. <laughs> he does something like that. Like he says something. My Google person that like monitors my Google searches must be like this person is crazy because my cat my searches are everywhere all the time. Cat speaking Spanish. Um. Oh, we're all mad here. Oh, we're all mad here. <laughs> oh, this cat's kind of weird. Do I have a saying or no? I don't know. Why is everyone looking to Do me we have a to Google this? Sorry. I don't yeah. know. Uh, you're um. I could talk in an accent. Do you want a hat? Yeah, you're the Mad Hatter. <laughs> gotta, I know I'm the Mad Hatter. You gotta really... act angry, maybe or crazy. Oh, is that is why that can't? Oh. Is that I why they call called the Mad Hatter, Hatter because he's crazy? He's crazy. He's really crazy. Be really mean. He this goes podcast. crazy. He goes crazy in the movie. Really? Yeah, once he like they capture yeah, yeah, him, yeah, yeah, yeah. he goes insane. Yeah. Oh, you had like a little dance, a little jig that you do. <gasps> oh, those spin. Yeah. Oh, wait. 
Oh, everyone smile. Why does your spin and mine does? <laughs> You're going the wrong way, man. Ready? It look your hat is like floppy on the top, so it won't spin. We can do oh, candidates too, Sean. Oh. Okay. We can do candidates. Look, 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 look. Who's Candace? Look. <laughs> can these balls fit in your mouth? Oh! <laughs> nah, that was it. That was good. <laughs> hey, do you know Candace? Do you know Candace? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys like tapes and CDs? Yes. Oh my God! I, I, you, you've uh, done that was this close. One to me. That was close one. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I do like it. He yeah. said yes. Yes. Let me tape these nuts. Oh no! To dude. your forehead. Let me so you can see so these you nuts you on your forehead. <laughs> Let me tape this wiener to your forehead so you can see these nuts. Let me tape this wiener to your forehead so you can see these nuts. This wiener is weird. You almost had it. I you almost taste this had little it. wiener <laughs> to your nuts. Was that the first question? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Are you ready? <laughs> so we're gonna start with. A question from one of my followers. Um, I don't know if we've done this before. So the question <laughs> is from. Hey. Shut respect. up. Oh, sorry, sorry. Blame him, man. My God. Okay. Aladriana underscore goose is the username that I got this question from, and she says, "Hey, Christine, I'm a big fan of the podcast." I and thank you. Um, I was wondering how long. I forgot I wasn't supposed to read that front part. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm also so tired. Okay. I was wondering how long you should wait before meeting up with someone um, you met on a dating app. Have we done this question before? Never. Don't ever meet up with them. You'll never find love on a dating app. Damn, bro. We literally just, we did a whole Tinder fucking sponsorship for like six months. Oh, boy. Her boyfriend is Never on mind. a dating app. Dude, she found her boyfriend on a dating app. Never mind. Damn. Damn. I'm so sorry, Christine. Except Christine. Look at that. We have an example right here. JK Tinder, please sponsor us again. There's two opinions here. You don't like dating apps, and I found love, love. on a dating app. Mom, yeah. have you ever used dating app? No. <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, then I... I don't know why I said that, honestly. <laughs> I Maybe so, I have something against dating apps, though. No, nah, I'm a little they skeptical about dating apps. They do have, like, a weird, um, like, stigma or, like, a weird... You think everybody on there is just trying to fuck? Yes, yeah. because... Okay, I know Grindr is like that. It's called well, Grindr. Yeah, but Grindr is, I think, super specific, though, to... Yeah, that. but it's, it's just Tinder for gay people. <laughs> no, but I think... I don't think Grindr, like, specifically... Do you know Grindr, Grindr's thought, advertising to find like love or for like Grinder is a hookup app? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is? I thought that's what it's known for. Yeah. Oh, like they straight up say like we're a hookup. Well, because it tells you literally how far away they are from you. Like you can see the. Okay, true, and it also like you have like the option to say I'm clean or something like that. Like well, I got checked up. Yeah. I know this because I have a gay friend, not because I have Grinder. That's what I'm saying. I think I think I think Grinder is a little bit different though. It is definitely very different. Because I I don't think I don't think that Grinder is advertising for like finding love and relationships and all that. How would you feel if, if Grinder reached out to you? He was like, yo, I think you'd be perfect for us. I think we want to sponsor you. I'd say how how much are you gonna pay? That's a great answer. We can give you a, a premium membership. Is that all you're gonna pay me with? A premium membership. Premium membership. Can I see who's checking on my profile? Yeah. No money. <laughs> premium membership. This kid's weird. He keeps asking for money. Probably have to pass. Okay, so back to the main yeah. question. It was how long should you wait to you, meet up with someone? You, t you and say I met up one time. I've had a lot of instances where... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can I extend on that? Where, like, where I was like... I don't know. I think I kind of just wasn't on there because I was lonely as fuck. More so just like wanting to talk to people. <laughs> And so I would talk to him for like a day and then that would be it. But that one just like, I was like, you know what, fuck it. We'll like, why not? see how it was. Yeah. yeah. And then I got like, kind of, yeah, it was, it was not good. Wait, what the fuck are you saying? Well, no, say, what was the problem? <laughs> it was not, it just wasn't, it just, I don't want to say it on here. It wasn't it. How long did you wait? Uh, how long were you guys talking before you guys saw each other? Honestly, I don't know. It was a long time ago. You guys remember that? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. It was, it was a couple weeks. I don't know. It was, it was a couple but, weeks. Yeah, huh? It was a couple weeks. 
Yeah. A couple think? weeks is good, I think. It depends on the person. What's up, guys? I'd like to take a quick second and shout out our sponsors. Without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to bring you guys this podcast for free on so many different platforms. Thank you, Starface, for sponsoring this episode. I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but I'm low-key looking forward to breaking out right now because I get to put a fun little star on it. Yep, I'm talking about those star-shaped pimple patches from Starface that you keep seeing on your Instagram and TikTok feeds. Cuteness aside, there's a reason why everyone from Justin Bieber to Bella Hadid are using these pimple patches. Hydro stars are made with 100% hydrocolloid, which means they're really great for absorbing fluid and minimizing redness while they shrink your spots. Hydrostars are packaged in a little yellow compact that even has a mirror for easy application. I love that I can just open it up and put a star on my face and feel super cute and confident while dealing with the pimple on my face. I'm super excited because Starface just dropped the newest addition to their compact collection called Big Blue. This cute new compact comes with 32 hydrostars and salicylic acid, which are great for those deeper spots that need a little help coming to the surface. If you're ready to start celebrating and decorating your pimples, you can shop the entire Starface collection at starface.world. And for a limited time, all Suburb Talks listeners are getting 15% off their first purchase when you enter the code SUBURB at checkout. Again, that's 15% off your first starface.world order with code SUBURB. Thank you, Starface, for sponsoring this episode. Other than that, guys, please enjoy the rest of this podcast. That I am talking to, that I like got matched with because... When I was on it, like some guys would respond like once a day and then some guys would respond like as soon as I respond. And like, I'm not the type of person to like leave someone hanging to like play games. Like I'm gonna respond to you when I have the time to respond to you. And if that's as soon as you reply to me, then that's gonna be that. And so sometimes with certain people, I can get dates planned a lot faster. Like if I have an initial like, oh, this person looks cool on like, for example, like a Hinge or Tinder profile. And then usually their socials are like linked or like I'll go look to see if I can find their Instagram. And then if I'm like, oh, this person seems okay, then like I might speed things up in the process of like um, getting to meet this person in in person. So like that could sometimes happen in a week. Um, But sometimes if a guy isn't really responding that much and he's not really a guy that posts a lot on social media and I don't really have like a good idea, you know, off of what I can find, like of what I think this guy might be like, then sometimes it takes a little longer, like a month sometimes. If if you're on a dating app and stuff like that, you, you can even think about this like back then and you're talking to a guy and he like really intrigues you. Like his, his Instagram's fire. You're like, oh, he's really cute. Like super outgoing. Mm-hmm. And then same day that you guys text, he's like, hey, yo, like my plan's like completely cleared up. Like, do you want to grab dinner? Would you go? Yeah. Yeah, I would go. Same day, same time you texted, texted and everything. Yeah. I Is would, it? yeah. If I had a dating app, yeah. Yeah, I would go. But I would, I would drive myself there important i was kidding when i said never we heard we like found out about a lot of um cute tinder stories where love was found yeah w- when working with tinder yeah. the partner my brother met his girlfriend oh yeah. He did, right? yeah how long have they been together uh three years now oh wow yeah they just moved out together to uh um, that's so cute they moved Congrats in together. To yes, yeah. No, they moved out and in together. No way. You're going to miss him, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm getting his room, so it's yeah, my oh. same man. No, <laughs> you know? Who's getting your room? Not you, bro. No. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but they met They met through, um, uh, I forgot which dating app. I think it might have been Tinder. Yeah, they're, they're going strong. That's Our fine. families get along. Their parents are always hang out with mine now. That's it's fine. going really well. So if you think the vibes are right. Well, now it's not. Believe me with each other but he's leaving me he chose his girlfriend over his brother who said he can move on with life that's fucked up what what does that tell you about him damn he's not family over everything <laughs> yeah. anyways fuck, fuck that guy. um i think i think a lot of it is dependent though on like uh the vibes and how much you're like how badly you want to see them because if you want to see them that same day like you guys said you're gonna see him right mm-hmm. so yeah what you never met up with anybody online it doesn't have no. to be dating up no no Could like over dms nah I'm Never, like, not once. Nah, because I'm very skeptical not about that. Not even in like junior high. Damn. Fuck, <laughs> I'm not meeting people in junior high. <laughs> Did we have DMs in, junior in the high? junior high? I yeah. think. I want to speak. <laughs> what, 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 what? Good. A question. Yeah. Um, so like after a few dates, this is how, I want to say this is how like the icebreaker went with my brother and his girlfriend off meeting a dating app. Yeah. Um, uh, she, he brought her over to one of our family parties 
after like a few dates and like it wasn't because like they're taking it serious like he was just like oh my family's having a party like come through or whatever she came through and like that was, i feel like that was kind of like the icebreaker where it's like yeah like, this is actually really fun like we should go out more so do you think that would be like a good icebreaker after a little while meeting off a dating app like you guys hang out a few times and it's like fuck it my family's my family's throwing a party over someone's birthday come through i'd have to like the girl not just icebreaker bro yeah. like not just yeah. icebreaker. yeah that icebreaker is true. for that's kind of crazy yeah. because I mean, some people think sorry Sean. that's like too serious um meeting family is like a big step but i feel like if you brought it up hella casual like oh like we're just having fun and we're just inviting everybody yeah, like, like i think my, that's how my brother went about it if i'm like think so at least i think it should be fine my boyfriend introduced me to like his family and like his brothers like individually so like the first time he threw it on me was actually like a what the fuck moment because um he told me about it so he we had planned to go to a concert together and he told me like three hours before he texted me he's like hey by the way my younger brother is coming with us oh and then I was like, what the fuck? I was like, because I don't know what that means. I remember when it happened. Yeah, I remember when I it happened, happened too. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was, so yeah, I was telling you guys. And I was like, guys, what does this mean? Because I didn't know if it was like him trying to get me to like meet his brother because yeah. he liked me or like he was trying oh, to like intimidate yeah, me. Really remember? Really. Yeah, okay. Oh my God, he thinks so much. I wouldn't even think twice. <laughs> Sick, <Really>? bring him. <laughs> I wouldn't think, if they were just like, hey, by the way, like uh, my sister's coming along, my younger sister, I just went, oh, that's dope. We're gonna have a good time. Apparently, he told me that with that as his intention. Like when oh. he explained it to me after, because I was like, "You really freaked me out." And he was like, "No, I was just like letting yeah. you know my brother was coming." Yeah. And then the second time I met his brother, his other brother was like me and um, my boyfriend did like a double date with like his uh, brother and the girlfriend. That's tough. And I feel like that's like a good way to introduce family. But I would not start with the siblings. You wouldn't go straight to a family event, like a what were your family's freaking lit though yeah that's was, it depends saying, on my, it depends on the family i was gonna say it's a little bit different though i just realized that because you be having everyone come over like extended family so like you have times where you guys can be like alone and stuff like that and you can introduce them to like a lot of people but it's different when like the family events just like the immediate family yeah i only true. have like eight people in my family in socal so like yeah yeah all family events are really tiny yeah no that's know? the same thing for me too that's the same thing for me too so yeah i don't know about icebreaker but i still think if it's a big family event i think i think it's a cool icebreaker yeah a big family event yeah, yeah. it might freak me out a little bit though oh yeah it might freak me out a little bit if i was the one getting invited who's she get her out of here she's not family i invite, <laughs> i introduced cynthia to jason at my birthday party fire which none of you guys came to but maru was there yeah, yeah. i had covid i didn't yeah. i didn't know you yet yeah I didn't know you. We just weren't like friends. Okay, well, you know what I mean. We didn't know, like, no, know each other. I didn't. I, I, I didn't get. A, I didn't get a birthday invite. At least, That's, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Also, no birthday this year again, probably either. No. I don't, I don't think so. Oh no, we're we gonna throw a party here. We're gonna pretend we're doing a podcast, and there's just gonna be a bunch of fucking people here, and we're I'll gonna. I'll be so pissed. I'll turn around and walk. No, out. I know you would, cause you'd be like, I will not care about any of the effort you guys put in. Damn. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's just do it to make her feel bad. Now, now I want to do it. Now I want to fucking because do it. Because I'm telling you that I will not be appreciative of that effort. And if you go out of your way to still do it, then it's your fault that you wasted your time. Well, not parties mine. off, guys. <laughs> you know, I feel like I that was like I had that same mentality and attitude maybe four years ago. But now I'm a nicer no, person. I don't know. I, just, <laughs> I was too nice, so now I'm here. Respect it. You gotta do what you gotta do. The ta how the turns tables. If I was like. If I was pissed off, yeah, I, I would say something like yeah. that. Like, it's not your fault. We probably all just get wasted because we're sad that. I'm you not gonna lie. I would probably want to throw a party just so that I can throw a party. Yeah. Uh, I, like, if yeah. Christine <laughs> wasn't there, I don't think I'd really care. Where's Christine? <laughs> <laughs> I like, I uh, like Christine walks in, she walks out, still got alcohol. Well, guys, no, we already said all this I'll stuff. Leave early <laughs> anyways, even if it was my birthday party, <laughs> I'll be leaving early anyways. Wait, I was also gonna ask you though. Are you using my graduation as an excuse to throw a party? No. <laughs> We're gonna throw a party on our graduation. Is he throwing you a Not party? Yet. No, yeah, he was like, yeah, like um, I'm gonna throw you a graduation party. Like we're gonna get an Airbnb. <gasps> we're gonna get. I was gonna get a. It was supposed to be a surprise <laughs> when I graduate. Can I do one too? But uh. But shouldn't it be a surprise yeah, for me out of everybody? Right? No, I was just kidding. Why I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I just asked if you'd be free. Yeah, when you don't, graduate, don't actually like acknowledge what he says when he says that because it might not happen. Just don't don't get your hopes up high. I'll look for it when I get back from Coachella. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll look, I've been looking, bro. It's tomorrow. Hey, you know, it's coming up. When is <laughs> like, it? Like real quick. Yeah, we're supposed to wear so just we're just like partying on like the beach or something like that, you know? 
Nah, it's gonna end up coming here, man. He can't swim. It's gonna end up coming here. Oh. I would hate that. Party on the beach sounds No, JK, I'd be, I still be down to do it here. My dog. But right um, <laughs> Irvis house. <laughs> Who said you could do it here? Oh. Did Sean say you could do it here? I didn't say that. You said you could. We he could said do it here. It's probably gonna come mm-hmm. here if I. Can I throw mine here? You gotta talk to Sean. I'm down to party every day. Sean's the one who says no parties. I we could throw. I mean, this is the only exceptions here. But for you, we're throwing a fat a fucking yeah, rager, now Christine. Yeah, I want to throw a fat rager for Christine. <laughs> Next question. This person is. This question is from Taya Alexandra on Instagram, and they ask, "Would you go on vacation with a guy or girl who you've been seeing for a while, but they're not exactly exclusive with, if they invited you?" How long is the vacation? <laughs> well, that's a really good question. <laughs> like I can't. I can't do more than maybe Thursday one through night. Sunday. Thursday through Sunday. I have to. I have to be back on Saturday, man. No, no. Do Friday to Monday. Oh, sad. I gotta be back on. So Saturday. it'll be like you'll sleep there Friday night. You have Saturday, Sunday, and then you're back Monday. With their family? No, no. It's just like a Us vacation too. of you two. I would. I'd be down. I'd be super down. Hell yeah. I would do like a. Even if we're just a fling. Yeah. yeah. That should be. Yeah. Like, that should be fire, fire, huh? Drive up yeah. the morning. No commitment, so but just like fun. That's what I exactly, bro. Give me some, man. God, hey, I've yeah. never agreed with you more on something in my life. Yeah, that could turn out really bad, too, though. How could it turn out bad? How, you guys at the same hotel? I it said- wait, wait for them to finish because I can't understand. It's someone that you've been seeing for a while. They never, they don't specify uh, how okay. long, but it's they're just, not exactly exclusive, quote unquote. I would, go, I would go to the beach for a week. Let's say it's your favorite sneaky link. And they're like, hey, like, let's say you really wanted to go to Miami. She really wanted to go to Miami. And she's like, I booked a flight for both of us and a hotel. She already did no, it? No, no, wait, 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 not that, not that. Let's just say that she's like, yo, listen. This is implying, No, though. no, no, okay, okay, but let's, because he's going to freak out, because he's going to be like, well, why are you buying me a ticket? Right. That's what you would have said, too. No, no, it's no. me and you. You would have so, been like, so, why would you do that? I'm saying, I'm saying, she said, so, so y'all are talking, and you're like, yeah, like, I really want to go. I'm only going to be free next month from the 19th to the 24th. And she's like, oh, I'm free that same weekend. Trip to Miami. Quick trip to Miami with uh, your favorite you sneaky link. Who you, you you like? Like you enjoy their company, but you're still skeptical. I would go. I would go. You're still skeptical about dating them. I don't know, man. I would go. I don't know if I'd go. But what were you? What were you telling me right now? They could get like I, I oh, could yeah. see how like things would come up in the way, like especially if you're going to Miami. She might go with another guy. Oh, you're talking oh. about like, like oh. Yeah. psych. We'd have to go to a remote island. <laughs> I think that's what the difference. We have to go to a remote island. A remote island is crazy. You're right. We can't go to a party area. Nah, if you go to a party area, it it could either go two ways. You guys are going to be back with each other. Never fucking mind. She brings back another dude with with a kick That's what you guys are worried about? I didn't think about that either, but it it makes sense. If you're spending four days with a girl, or four nights, three days, you are going to see true colors of this female you have not seen yet. So you know what? It's a win-win because... Because you could, if she had those intentions, maybe going on that trip with her would show her true colors. That's a good thing. Faster, faster. faster. First yes. night, first night is the worst night of our lives. No, I have two listen. more days there. Oh, that is listen, true. I when think very Jason and I went to so, Vegas, uh, this was before we became exclusive. I lost my phone on the first night. It got stolen, and I found out while we were on the strip at like two a.m. And I thought that I had left it in the hotel bathroom, like back a couple hotels, because we were like walking the strip. And Jason was like, let's go back. I know it's in the bathroom. And I was like, I'm not walking fucking back to the hotel. I was like, call a fucking Uber. Like, let's go back. My phone's gone. I'm not going to look for it. Oh, sorry. And he was like, no, let's go look. Like, let's go ask security. And I was like, no fucking way is this happening. But this was like, oh, I had just been seeing him for three months. And I was like, it was on the verge of getting like serious. And then I was like, I have a chance to like really blow this or I can keep the peace. And then so I just like take a second. And I was like, you know what, fine. And so we walked around the strip. We didn't find my phone. And then finally, after an hour, he was he like, he was like, okay, let's call an Uber. Got it. But that tested us. Yeah. Because we were fucking tired. He was um, coming back from EDC. So he had already been on a three day bender. And this was our first night in Vegas together. Yeah. I had driven up and we had just gone to see Martin Garrix. So it, we were tired and it was late. And that tested us. Jesus Christ. No a... plane ride. <laughs> Sean, what is wrong with you, bro? No plane ride. God damn, bro. That's you too got... far. Don't you think cars are worse, though? Because no. if you sit on a plane, you could buy separate tickets. Okay. Trip to San Diego. Hell yeah. Thursday through Sunday. She... I do any trip. <laughs> I fucking hate that guy, bro. I Friday fucking hate that guy. Friday to Sunday. Friday to Sunday. Thank you. Friday to Sunday. Y'all figure it out. She says, yo, I'm free this weekend. You're like, uh, you tell cool. her. That's cool. Mm. 
Because I know if I invite you up, you'd show up too. You're inviting me? Yeah. Why are you inviting me? No, I'd just say, oh, like, Nick, you want to come to San Diego too? And then all the guys would come. It would just be one big group in San Diego. Hell yeah. We should do that soon, by the way. Yeah. I miss that done. place. Yeah. Um, but I think you got a point, though, because if you do go on vacay with someone who you're <laughs> thinking about, with someone you're thinking about dating, that is going to speed up the process about, like, if they're really cool or not. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm just scared. Yeah. Real, real question is if you take that vacay and they end up being like weird or like too much, are you catching a plane ride like oh, the yeah. next day? Are you getting a different hotel? Yeah. Like, are you doing it pulling an Irish exit though? Or are you going to tell them that you're leaving? I'm telling them that I'm leaving, but I, I will pull, leave. I can't pull an Irish exit, bro. We're in a, like, I don't know. Maybe she, uh, she gets really drunk no, and no, flirts no. with every guy at the club. Yeah, we could or say, that. we could say that. And then it's just really toxic. Like, are you talking to any girls? Oh, like she gets really up in your business, and she and she brings up she brings up things that she shouldn't know about, like like investigative. Oh, oh no. that is scary. I have a situation. I have a situation. So you're taking a shower, and you come out of the bathroom, and you see her go like <gasps> with your phone. <gasps> I don't think that's crazy. Let's suppose you <laughs> yeah, left. Suppose you left your phone outside, like at the shower. Like you have a speaker in the bathroom, so that you say you forgot your phone. And she walks out, and you see her go like this. What would, would you do? That would rub me the wrong way. Would you talk? Would you talk to her about it? Like, would you call her out? I would just be like, "What you? I just, I just be like, what you doing? What you, you doing? You don't babe? find that weird? Yeah. Y'all aren't even dating, and she's like looking through your phone. It's kind of crazy. It's ha even like, I wouldn't do that. That's my. <laughs> what like, the? I would never go through my sneaky link's phone. Like, I have no reason to. Uh uh. What, what if what if you what if you got a call and all you saw on the on the name was baby. Oh, oh, then yes, I am talking because he's probably cheating on his girlfriend. Then at that point, what if it was his baby? <laughs> his kid. It actually is, imagine. That, that. that should be fucking wild. Oh, no, you tell me, you answer the phone then. Answer, you think I'm crazy? Answer the phone. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I told you. Never believe me. I told you. You're crazy. You're, you're telling you're me. Crazy. Hold on. You're telling me that if you saw your man, uh, your sneaky leak going through your phone, y'all are gonna ho hop on a flight back. Just from that? No. I'm gonna think it's kind of weird, but I'm not gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that would just be a sucky start. Yeah. Okay, true. It's not enough to, um, I guess, catch a flight back home, but it is a little weird. I'm gonna be like, what? if I confronted him about it and he was like super denying it and whatever, then I would probably catch a flight home. Cause I'm like, you get, I'm giving. I was like, I saw you touch my phone. Like, why were you holding it? Yeah. If he's like, oh, you know. Uh, someone called and I just like put it on silent then that's like okay that's at least a lie that I can believe or yeah. even if that's the truth but you know if he's just saying like oh no reason or I didn't touch your phone at all and yeah. if he's like gaslighting me about it okay. Okay. then I'll be like oh this is fucking okay. weird and then leave I'll catch a flight home if I see her like dancing with another guy or flirting with another guy yeah that that's, that's probably when you call me huh that's probably when you call me he'll be yeah. crying 2 a.m. <laughs> So I'm like, I just don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Can you come over here, bro? <laughs> Can you come pick me up, bro? <laughs> oh, yeah. That That's would be cool. crazy. That, that I'm catching a flight back home for. But yeah, right? are you leaving? Sneaky Link, um, vacay, and she's just, uh, maybe crazy. Maybe she's crazy. You find out she's crazy. <laughs> she's got to flip the light switch eight times every time she walks yeah, in the room. Yeah, mm. <laughs> I think it depends for me. Like the phone thing, I don't think that. Right, would, I'm not really. That, that wouldn't bug me. I just be like, it's my phone. What are you doing? Yeah, I mean, after that much. Just okay. a joke, yeah. Right. But if it was like some crazy shit, yeah, just like the sneaky link. I don't think I'd trip over that. Just because, I mean, I it's not crazy. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's like, a little weird. Your sister. What if your sister texts you, and you're like, "This is my sister," and then she just doesn't let up on it for the rest, like the whole day is just like, uh, like I know and it's not your that's, sister. Yeah, that's like, crazy. That's fucking okay. insane. That's what I'm talking about. Would you leave? God, man, how could you stay? Yeah, See, I, I just I think I would need case. to know someone more to go on a trip with them. Like, I think you guys are more independent. You don't mind, like, taking risks like that or, like, having fun. You, you look at all the positives, which is, like, I think that's better. Yeah. For me, I don't – I think I think more, like – What can go wrong? Yeah, like, I, I just don't know them enough. Like, I know – I don't think that's good either. Like, I'm not saying, like, it's smart. I think it would be more fun to be, like, how you are. But I think for me personally, I would think of everything. I would be like, do you, oh. Do you ever feel comforted by like, oh, I, I know every situation of like what could go wrong. So like, really yeah, I do, no, it I can't do think really of every, be that bad. I do think of like every situation that can go wrong and try to control it. Like if that oh, makes sense. Oh, you try to control like, it. Like just so that nothing 
will go wrong, but that right. usually makes everything go wrong. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Don't you like you have to learn how, how to let go. Don't right. you like limit yourself when you do that? Like you try to um, do everything right so nothing goes wrong. You kind of limit yourself. Yeah. Oh. And like on that whole trip, you know what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? And I'm a little awesome. I think Sean it. doesn't even go on the trip. Wouldn't even go on the trip. <laughs> yeah, Sean ain't going on the trip. I just, I'm just, honestly, I'd just be scared. Honestly, even, uh, maybe I know the girl really well, even though she's my sneaky link. Maybe like she's really dope. And then maybe, yeah, I would go. But it's just kind of hard to picture because, you know, I never had been if, in that if situation. If I say, I'm, so like, let's say, for example, I'm like, I want to go to Miami next month. Are you thinking about what everything that could go wrong with me? No, he's talking about. Or is it just with girls? Oh wait, would you? Got, you? I thought you were applying it to all of life. I thought that's what I, you were it, saying. It's like all of life, gotcha, gotcha. in a way. You strike me as a milf guy, though, huh? Milf, milf. <laughs> you strike me as like a milf guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, would you be more inclined to go? With, why are you laughing? With the milf? With the milf? I feel like you'd be more inclined to go if it was milf. Probably not, though. No. Are you sure? <laughs> did you say? Did you say you strike me as a milf guy? He strikes me as like a milf guy. No, Do you have a lot of moms like hit on you when you go out? When I was at Old Navy. That's mm, when time. you were working at Old Navy, <laughs> yeah. but uh, I feel like you would. Nah, I think that that's the only thing that uh, I get anxiety about. Milfs, that milfs, motherfucker. Yeah, that's what I, was I get too. no about the whole situation thing. Oh, Thinking right. of everything that goes wrong, right? I get that's the only thing I get anxiety about. Sean, I'm not gonna lie, I do kind of relate to that. Yeah, I just I, I do think no, about you like. Don't. You guys don't. No, you. You're like one of the most impulsive it's people I know. You don't know me. <laughs> okay, very like true. I still have certain thoughts like that. I just don't like put it out and like I don't. Uh, I I have thoughts like that. Gotcha, gotcha. All the gotcha. time, like gotcha. even when we go on our mini trips. You're like, what can go wrong? Like yeah, it's there, and gotcha, in the back gotcha, of my mind, gotcha, it's a little gotcha, bit. That's there. why, dude. I don't know why I'm so scared about the journey. Yeah, what's up with you in the journey, bro? I don't know, bro. Like going to Coachella. Yeah. I'm nervous about going there. No, it's not the even being there. there. It's so weird. So I just what are you worried out. about? I don't know. I have a weird. I don't know. Maybe being away from home trips me out. I don't. I, I feel I don't, that. I don't You're like, the definition. If of there was a body. teleportation, if there's a teleportation oh, I'd device, I'd go anywhere. I'd go anywhere oh, if yeah, I could yeah, teleport back. Huh? Let's not go. <laughs> what? You don't live with this guy. <laughs> I don't know what the hell we're talking about anymore. I lost it. I don't know. Yeah, the journey. The you just is it you just don't like being far places? I, I don't know. Something yeah, just something about two the two hour plane plane ride versus two hour car ride. Do you know what though? There's people I'm comfortable with though. Like family, easily comfortable Your with. Your mom's driving, you're like, yeah, okay, I'm good. Or even like just going with a family member. I, I don't know. I need to just like <coughs> I need to control the situation. I need to know that everything's safe, like everything's like gonna be okay. And I don't know why I'm the way more I'm like scared that. when I travel with my family. I do too. Mm. I feel way better traveling by I, myself. I want to say it in a, yeah. I don't know. I want to say it, it started to come in when my dad got uh, sick. Yeah, yeah. Because like sense. I was more like, I kind of told you, I said like, you know, being away, I just always had the thought that something would happen when I'm not home. Yeah. And that would make me feel like shit, you know? Yeah. So, but now it's kind of like, I'm getting better. I mean, being your friend has helped a lot because you are so like, he pulls let's you fucking out. go right now. Yeah. He's really smart with it. Cause I'll tell him I'm not going and he acts like he does not care at all. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. right before he'd be like, all right, they're here, bro. I said, you're up. Like you can't, you can't back out now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Even after I said I was never going. You got so to it's put helped. yourself in uncomfortable <laughs> positions. Period. But, Nick was meant to be in your life, Sean. I guess so. Yeah, he's helped out a lot, but I think that's why answering god jesus answering that question about the <laughs> fucking going with the tinder god, hookup jesus. or something whatever we talked about that makes sense though i would just overthink completely and i don't know why you don't think you'd have fun huh nah it'd take a while to have fun it takes some alcohol mm. damn hey, amen brother they probably oh, would man. all right all right calms the nerves all right all, all the time on. liquid confidence so i'm on i'm on madu and christine's wavelength i, I would be so down for it yeah. if it's like my favorite sneaky link i'm i'm, I'm all for it mm -hmm. i might even pay <laughs> okay y'all think though that like it would be considered disrespectful if they did like flirt with other people in yes okay because we all vacay together that is yeah. true it's a vacay <laughs> <laughs> you can do that behind my back not in front of me though <laughs> that part right because we're not together because you're not exclusive if i'm in the restroom and so you're talking to somebody and you can make that conversation quick yeah okay i meant like like not in <laughs> that would be really cool actually at the end behind of the day. my back Outside the trip is what I meant. What? Yeah, but yeah. since you invited oh. me on the trip, yeah. then yeah, you're staying loyal to me. The fuck? Oh, but, okay. So you yes. didn't mean on the trip behind your back. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I, I meant like behind my back, I but like wrong. off the trip. Agreed. We can we're not before together. the trip. I don't care. <laughs> what After you're doing. the trip, I don't care. During the, the trip, trip, I you're care. You're with me. So during that trip, how would you feel about like if you saw um, 
text. Like, do you want her to like not be texting her other sneaky links during that? Oh. Cause like D and D. Okay. D and D. Do not motherfucking disturb. Do not That's disturb. Scary, yeah. Do not yeah. disturb. We not. I'm answering no calls. If I'm not answering calls or texts, she better not be answering calls and texts. Yeah. I That's do think fair. that would kill my vibe. Answer, who would you not answer a call from? What do you mean? On that, if you like, if you if did I was it, on the trip, yeah, yeah. Who would I? Who would you not? I would not pick up for you. I would not <laughs> pick up for you. I would not pick up for you. You wow. maybe because you don't call me a lot, so I feel like it might be an emergency. <laughs> I'd pick up for you any time of the week, oh, every day. <laughs> I, if you called me at like 5 a.m. and I was sleeping, I'd pick up the phone. Uh, Luke, I would not pick up the phone for. Um, <laughs> he got mad about that. So man. who would you yeah. pick up the phone for? Him and Christine. And then your family. Ah, I'd pick up for my mom. Probably wouldn't pick up for my sister. Ah! She could text me. Um, <laughs> my dad probably wouldn't pick up either. Really? No, I'd pick up for my dad. What if I, I hit you with dad. a bro? And that's it. I don't know, dude, because you say that and then I text you and it takes you three hours to fucking respond also, back. Also, you say bro and then like Yo. after it's like nothing important. You're like, yeah, nah. Uh, that's you, the you reason why. Bro. That's why you have to Did hit him with a yo or bro because nobody will respond if they say. If you hit him with a text right away of a question, they're that not going to respond. We talked to you. Yeah, we talked about that. That is true. You have to hit him with a yo. Is that or bro. why you always use yo? Yeah, Ugh. all the time. I it's from, so I annoying. Because you have to answer, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 you have to. Yeah, it gets me feeling. Yeah. <laughs> what happened, dude? What happened? I pick up the bro will get you though. Yeah. Bro gets me every time. Bro. That's how I say my. You know what really gets you though? Dude, like dude. Yeah, dude. Dude, like oh, I know there's some. Or when I just hear when I just see bit. Oh yeah, oh. bitch. Yeah. Your, With the extra intense. H's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm sorry to say, fuck you. We call him bitch. I was drunk. Would you pick up the phone for me if you were on that? On a vacation? Okay, if you told me, if you told me you were like, I'm going on vacay with my girlfriend for uh three, four days, and I called you, would you pick up the phone? I'm your employer. Yeah, because I think that it would be for yeah. that, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would you guys all pick up the phone for me Actually, if you were on no. I would not pick up the phone for. <laughs> Damn. No, I would not pick up the phone for anybody in this room. I think. Uh, you Nick, you called me yesterday. I didn't pick up. Yeah, that was on a vac. <laughs> that was on a vacation. Yeah, would you pick up if I was calling you? Yeah, I'd pick up. Fire. Would you pick up if I was calling? I you? would pick up for anybody here. <laughs> it's a so, phone call. Wait, wait. So, anyways, no. Back to what she was. Wait, right? Yeah. Would you be texting or texting your sneaky links if you're on vacay with them? No, no right also i don't think i could have more than one sneaky link like that's too much fucking work also like as long as like that one sneaky link is giving you good sex why i have a i mean i'm not shaming anybody for your life choices but it's just too much energy that's what it comes down to i don't know i just mm, personally i feel like actually never mind let me not put my business out there that was kind of hard to with the beat <laughs> what were you gonna say let me no were you were you gonna say something no can we move on? Yeah, yes. we can move on. We can move on. I took night call earlier. I'm hot as shit right now. Oh, uh, yeah. I wouldn't want to go to a party city with my sneaky link. A party city? Yeah, like a city. That would be so fun. No. Oh. No, no, no. I thought you meant no, like I think just there's parties. a high risk when you do that. <laughs> yeah, very high risk. This person is ta is asking about what to do when you feel insecure or disappointed after losing your virginity to a one-night stand. Just don't um. count it. <laughs> <laughs> Fire response. Fire response. Uh, Any, no one has to know. Honestly, sometimes I forget about people. Yeah, I was just about to say. I, yeah, I'm, I'm I have lie. forgotten people that I have been with. Yeah, I'm not like thinking about that every day. Nah, like the first person I, mean, I was no. with. First person I was with because because oh, uh, they lost their virginity. Like, and they're sad about it. Right, but this is like, yeah, oh yeah, this. If is it's random person. No, no, I guess so. Well, they don't really explain exactly what the situation is, but it says that they feel insecure. Like, what should I do about feeling insecure after losing my virginity to a one night stand? I didn't fully enjoy it, and I'm disappointed that I put myself in that situation. Mm. You just gotta get over it. Like, eventually, you'll get Can over we it. do. That's time. Yeah, you already. The suckiest thing is well, just you like you did I it. I do get where she's coming from. <laughs> oh my god. What did you, what did you say? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You didn't fuck up. <laughs> kind of did, but. Up. <laughs> nah, don't feel insecure. Everyone everyone makes little. I think the only like. thing you can do is stop dwelling on Your it. Your story was meant to be that way. To learn it. Yes. That's a good way. I think, yeah. In the moment, it's hard to feel like you are going to learn something from it, but maybe you did. Like, uh, now you know what kind of person you don't want to have sex with again, at least, for example. Um, you know what kind of person to avoid, you know what you are looking for and maybe another kind of hookup or maybe you realize that this 
One night stands aren't your thing. Yeah. yeah. This made you realize one night stands aren't, you, aren't your thing. So like, there's always something that I think you could learn from a situation. Yeah. But I think with as to feeling like not satisfied, especially if you're a girl having sex with men, a lot of the times like you're not going to be satisfied sure. unless like there's a lot of communication or like, you know, so, so don't feel too bad about not being satisfied. I think to make up for that, it's a lot of um, exploring your own body because a lot of the times in high school, like I was like, oh, this guy, my boyfriend at the time, I was like, oh, he's not really doing it for me. And then I'll go home later and do it myself. And you know, like- Hit manual. <laughs> and oh I know obviously God. for the guy, right, to hear that probably it doesn't feel good, but like the truth is for girls it's just harder sometimes and some girls have a lot harder time finishing with just someone even being there for example so you know like it just depends on the person that you're with the girl like it just depends on her body and like how she responds to like you know pl pleasure and stuff you know what i wonder what do you wonder, wonder if <laughs> if um i feel like the guy always finishes their first time like virginia are you crying right now he made me laugh really hard <laughs> he said he said hey manual i just started um i wanted to add that a lot of people's first time isn't good if it makes i mean mine wasn't good mine was well, that's what i'm saying i feel like i mean because usually they feel don't like the guys sense. usually you know what i mean they finish, they finish. but i feel like the, the like because if it, they're both the first time i feel like the girl's probably not gonna finish yeah. yeah, cause he yeah he don't know what he's doing. She don't know. It's like a first. Yeah. Time. yeah. <laughs> so do not dwell on it, girl. It's yeah. very normal not to have a first good sex experience. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and usually even for me now, the first time with anybody that I meet new isn't as is not that good. But like as we get it going, yeah, that's when it gets better as it goes. Yeah. To form a connection. Yes, you form that connection. Also, you know exactly like. You get feel more comfortable telling them what to do, you know. Yeah, I like what I like what you said too. Yeah, like sometimes, what is it? Like you learn that you don't want to be with someone or doing something. Fire. I was gonna ask, like, who, is there anyone at this table who has had a one night stand that's like comfortable sharing it? Um, I've had one. I've had. I've one never night experienced that, so I don't know what that's what that's like. One night stand is literally <laughs> just one night, right? Okay, it's not. It's not. Maybe you could talk about your experience. Cut this part out. No, no, I can talk about it. It's Let's just talk like about it. talk about the last one you had and how the drive home was and everything. Oh, I did Who's have that? a one night stand. I think it was with you. Did you ever have Me. one that you like might have regretted a little bit? And then like, what did you learn from it? Or like, you might have regretted. Oh yeah, I have one. I'm talking to you. Might I feel comfortable sharing with it? Do you want to share? Yeah, I can talk about it. Um, actually, I I did regret it. <laughs> that manual joke was hilarious. It really, for me, it was a teaching lesson. It was a lesson. Because after that, I realized, bro, I don't fuck with this one night stand shit. Like, it just was not for me. That sex was ass. I think that was what, that was the day after, the morning after is when I realized, bro, what the fuck am I doing, right? You're saying you only had one one night stand? You only had one? Why are you acting like that? What <laughs> no, 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 because you're talking about how you learned that it's not what you wanted. Like, that's why I'm asking. Was yeah. Own, it's just one experience. That's what I'm yeah, asking. Because it, yeah, one night stand is just one night. No, but I'm it's saying like, you only had, had one, one night, night stand. Stands. Like, one time in your life is what I'm asking. You. Yes, because okay. the others could have been, like, two oh, okay. nights. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, right? That's show. Yeah. 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 <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, so... <laughs> Um, where was I going with this? No, and then that's when I realized, like, bro, I don't even enjoy this, right? Mm -hmm. I just want a boyfriend. What the fuck? So, there you go. I, I just think, I think one night stands are just so different for guys and girls. Because, like, I, I seriously doubt that girls are, like you said, like, they realize, like, maybe it's not what I really want. And I've never done it. Yeah. Because it's never been appealing to me. Yeah. It is not appealing. Yeah. It's just whatever. It's, like, I, w I wouldn't be, like... Oh, dude, it's so much better than having a girlfriend. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't that say that. That is wild. If you, if you presented a girlfriend in front of me or one night stands for like the rest of my life, I'm pretty you sure I would take the girlfriend. girlfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not. Yeah. Do you think every man would choose that? I would hope so. I would. I, you know what? <laughs> I, I would hope so, but I would say no. I, no. I would say, I would say, damn, but would you say most men? I said most men would take the girlfriend. I'd say most. Would. But yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. I feel like there would be some that would just... Definitely definitely yeah. a big number, though, that would take the other But side. I don't think a guy would want that for the rest of their life. I think a guy's only thinking like that if he's never had it before. Mm. You get what I mean? And when he's young. Yeah, and when he's young. But, like, you, you do it. No. Everyone... There's some, like, older people that are, like, playboys, you know, still. Like, yeah. the, no, there's some guys that point. stay that way for their whole life. You got a point. You got a point. You got a point. But I, I don't see the... That's the kinda pleasure sad. in that. I don't see the pleasure of like yeah, having someone new sad. every night, every other week. You know. I wonder if people like that are genuinely happy. Who knows? People that are like fuckboys for the rest I don't, of their I lives. Don't, I don't think they are. I think a lot of it's for show. Mm-hmm. And, but it's also dependent on like how much they talk about it too. Because like I know guys who do one night stands like every week but never talk about it. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe he does like it. And I know guys who have, do one night stands every week and all they do is fucking talk about it. And I'm like, okay, well, you're just doing this for clout now. Like you're just doing it to talk. I always found that weird. People that do that and then show off to their friends about it. Yeah. And it's usually men. Like yeah. they talk about it like it's a good thing. Like, yeah, I fucked this other bitch and this bitch. You want to see how she looks like? Like she was bad. Like, oh my God, why are you telling everybody your business yeah. that you're fucking like every yeah, single night? Like, yeah, no. Nah. I'm yeah. trying to think of like, I don't hear when it kind of turns different from when you're a young kid to like where you kind of keep yourself personal because as a as a guy like it's before high school to, it's high school to college bro when you realize no one cares about you <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're right you're right that's once you once you lose your ego yeah. yeah i think that's that's when it wears off it's literally just when you realize that no one cares i feel like when i was younger i just wanted to impress everybody be the cool kid on the block but once i'm older i'm like okay that shit's kind of lame like yeah. everybody's in their own lane nobody really like just live your own life you know yeah yeah okay next question next thank question. god for you it was guys. the second to last question why just because, oof, I've seen a Wait, lot of shit. I do want to announce that a little bit, though. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I feel like uh, for some people, virginity does mean a lot more than yeah. what I mean to others. Yeah. So um, if you are taking it deeply, I would say, like, I mean, in reality, you can't take back the past, but you can learn from it, like Christine said. So um, I, th- I thought that was great advice. Um, you now know that you might not like hookups or certain stuff like that. So just think about that next time something like this may happen or just learn from it. Yeah. I mean... You might view it as a bad thing, but you can also view it as a good thing. It's a life lesson at the end of the day. Everything that happens um, is a life lesson. You learn from it. Whether it's good or bad, you learn from fucking everything. That's and the learning thing always means do. good. Yes. 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 Okay. So this Let's next question STD. is... <laughs> that's still a learning lesson. It's a bad learning lesson. Don't be uh, silly, Rappy Willie. That is true. And it makes you realize how dangerous unprotected sex can be. Yes. Yes. Right, Sean? <laughs> um, this- I approve this best. <laughs> uh, have fun. Thank you, Julie, for sponsoring this episode. If you've ever had unprotected sex, forgot your birth control, had a condom break, or you're just not sure, we're excited to talk about a new company that is giving emergency contraception a much needed rebrand. Julie is an FDA approved morning after pill that helps stop pregnancy before it starts. Julie is aiming to be the emergency contraception company of the next generation. One of learning and acceptance, not of stigma and shame. When it comes to complex and stressful choices around your health, they believe women deserve products that are easy in every way. Easy to find, easy to take, easy to relate to, and easy to understand. Julie stops your body from releasing an egg using the same active ingredients as Plan B or any other morning after pill. Essentially, Julie works by preventing or delaying your ovulation. With no egg, there's no fertilization and therefore no pregnancy. And it's no risk to future fertility. It works best if taken right away or within 72 hours of unprotected sex. Julie just launched at CVS, but you can also find Julie at Target and Walmart stores across the US. You can also order online to have for the future just in case. It's legal in all 50 states. You do not need an ID prescription or credit card to get it you can go to juliecare.co to learn more or find julie at your nearest cvs target or walmart today that's juliecare.co to learn more thank you julie for sponsoring this episode other than that guys please enjoy the rest of this podcast this next question is from rachel kai hugh on instagram um they wanted to see what we thought about any excuses quote-unquote excuses on cheating so this is a long question so i'm going to read the whole thing before anybody talks this will be the last one too and then we can wrap it up okay so like a girl may cheat because she wasn't given enough tension enough attention or a boy might cheat because he wasn't having as much or enjoying sex i don't know i'm just giving examples but i feel this is very more um this is more than a black and white conversation no excuse to cheat at all but some people use excuses and i'm curious if any of y'all think an excuse can be valid i, I think that's first. all bullshit 
Uh, no, carry on, Sean. I'll, I'll follow it up. I think that's all bullshit. I think that if you, if you are in a relationship, it's a commitment, right? Let's say you fall out of love with that person and you have not ended the relationship, you are still in that commitment Brother, because right. you have not ended the relationship. Yeah. So if I completely fell out of love with someone, but I was still with them, let's just say for a year, months, weeks, I would not cheat on them because I am in that relationship still. I'm not a single man. Yes. I'm still committed to the relationship at least if I do not love someone. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? So there's no fucking excuse in my, sorry. My you're getting very heated about this. No, I, I, just, I just don't understand cheaters and stuff. Yeah. Like there's, you're at the end of the day, you're just hurting someone. So like, just fucking don't do it. Like leave. Yeah. And then if you don't leave, then you're just a selfish person and you got some problems. Go see a therapist. I don't yeah. know what you want to do. For real, that happens? Find God. Find God. I feel like people El do that human, because find God. they're scared they're not gonna find someone better. So they stick yeah. by you, but then they, they don't want you fully or love you fully. And so they want like, they wanna have that- Security? Mm, security first before breaking up with you. Maru, you know what's scary? I know a lot of girls, not a lot of girls, but I know a couple girls and I've known them like, I've known girls like this growing up that have like this, sometimes like, especially for people that are in like longer term relationships with girls, like <laughs> there's sometimes girls that you see that are clearly unhappy in the relationship, but they're staying because they have, because it means that they're in a relationship. Does that make sense? Like, do you feel like you can kind of feel the vibe of like girls that might be looking for like the next best thing, like in your friends? I have someone in mind. Yeah, like and she's my friend, so I'm gonna stick by her. But I am, I am side eyeing her a little bit at the very moment, right? Because there, at least in my head, I have two girls that I've known that, I, that I've been friends with that this has like come to mind. They're in a relationship. But they're look. They're kind of looking for the the next guy. They're not necessarily cheating, but uh, like you can tell, they're not fully been, invested. It's been like yes. two years or like two and a half years of the relationship, and they're unhappy, and they're telling me that they're unhappy. And then like when we go out together, it's like they are staring back at the guys that are staring at them. You know, like, like very slight things. Like, you know, you can tell that she's giving like this cue that she's like open, but it's not really like a quote unquote cheating situation because it's not like, you know, like- I, I, I peep I, it, I peep it, yeah. And she always talks about how unhappy she is in the relationship, right, right. like do something about it. And she's right. like, no, but I can't. <sighs> Yeah, I be side eyeing people like that. Yeah, yeah, like someone staying with someone because they're comfortable, but they're In the relationship. basically looking oh, yeah. for the next best like, thing. The basically, they're doing the whole "don't let your boyfriend stop you from finding your husband." Yeah. Oh yeah. God, damn! Dude. Oh, God. If someone said that shit, oh, what the fuck? There's a saying for it. Yeah, there's a whole saying for it. No. Yeah. Oh yeah. hell no, dude! Catchphrase? Is a catchphrase for that? It's a catchphrase. Yeah, it's a catchphrase. Uh. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, keep going. On the whole um, excuse thing. I like I, I'm not gonna lie. I have heard that one from somebody. Um, I'll tell you guys after. Okay, T. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've heard that, and I thought it was the most BS fucking. Wait, which which one? Which quote? Um, the like I wasn't sad. He wasn't satisfying me, or like they were just kind of like unhappy, so they did it. But they didn't break up. With they didn't him. break up, with, and like I think people who use that as an excuse are just oblivious to the fact that that is a fucking reason to break up with somebody before you do that. If you're not happy, leave. But just leave. It's like, I don't know. I think they're oblivious to that fact because they use it as an excuse when in reality it's a complete valid reason to leave somebody. If you're not happy, don't be with them. So I think people who use that are just uh, scums. Selfish, cowards. Yeah. yeah. I feel like what scums, they don't yeah. realize is that if you cut it off in a good way, there's a chance of you guys getting back together rather than going and cheating on them because you're not satisfied and just talking with it after, you know what Right, I mean? and you're like, saving them the hurt yeah, too. Yeah, saving everything. You have more of a chance to be together. Mm -hmm. Just fucking break up. Yeah. Yeah. I think the, and you said like, just leave. I know it probably is hard for a lot of people to it's just easy. leave. Because they're scared, they're probably scared. Yeah. yeah. And for many reasons, it could be you're scared or you don't think you can get out or whatever it is, but like, man, cheating at the option, bro. Cheating is not the option, bro. Don't cheat, bro. It is not. Don't do it. We should. We should just. Everybody should start bagging on cheaters. Like they're I mean, cheaters. They are, fucking. They are yeah, yeah. Just fucking bully them. Why but not, not just bully enough. Them? Some like, bro. Sometimes, 
especially these days i'd be seeing it on my teal but like people be like what did she say what did you say my teal timeline i thought you said teal i was like whoa am i kidding fucking old is this what 22 is yeah i didn't i don't know what the fuck that meant. just been around forever i thought you said my my teal like my theo i thought that was what you said i wouldn't say like that i would say like teal but anyways um the same shit (laughs) (laughs) oh did i say it like that my bad um People be praising that shit, low key. Nah, but a lot of it is a joke, though. I feel like you think I feel so? like a lot of that shit's joke. You don't think you don't think that uh, like uh, a girl like he's had excuse at homegirls like yeah he wasn't satisfying you like period go yeah. queen as you should. I think that's that's real. Yeah, that's I don't think it happens yeah. often, but I think it does happen. I think they mean that. Yeah, and I think they deserve to get slapped by another woman in the face really hard. Oh damn. Yeah. I love how you specify. Thank you. <laughs> Please, please. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want anybody else doing it. <laughs> That's domestic abuse and shit. <laughs> I be singing on my FYP too a lot, but like I said, sometimes I do think it's a lot of it's like for fun and jokes. But I do know, like you're right. There are certain people that are like, well, he wasn't satisfying you. Like you only had like there's only one thing you could have done. I just don't get how you could like justify it, even if it's your friend doing that. You just gotta be like, I don't know how you can be real with it and just be like, you know what, you're in the it's wrong. It's very hard. But I think if you're a good friend, you would. You kind of point that out like you know what like why don't you just break it up then you know what i mean yeah <laughs> you know i'm gonna talk to my friend now because i wasn't saying anything right oh well, uh, you don't, you don't need to, you don't need you to don't, get in people's business yeah, yeah, yeah i'm saying if they come to you saying like right i did nothing i'd be that's like what yeah, that's, that's, what you, that's what you lay it on them that's i would i would not intrude on their business let them fucking learn they they but if like they that? come up to you asking for advice on it yeah, that's don't do I not get in people's business because they're gonna right. blame you for a lot of shit that but you're just trying to help. But if they drag you them. in, then you, then you, you have, have the right, right away. To say, yeah, like, no, that's a great way to put it. You have the right away. We should do a test. Have questions. Are you allowed? Do you have the right away in a relationship <laughs> if you are not brought in to the conversation? Or wow, something? That that was a lot of single <laughs> sentences. I was. You got the same. That was a lot of. What do you call the most basic sentence? Fragment. Conjunction. What are you gonna say? No, oh, no, no. What do you call? What do you call the most basic sentence? There's like complex, compound. What's the most simple. basic? Simple. Simple sentence. sentence. Is that what it's called? I don't know. You gave like you gave like five simple right. sentences when you could have made that oh, yeah. one compound. I was just saying like a like a test on if you are in the right or wrong. Mm, a quiz. Oh yes. If only it were that easy. And then like yeah, that's that's what I was saying. But what were you saying about your friend? It's not like that or something like that. Or what you, what you nah, cause. You don't gotta drag it on the internet. If you, if, no, if I wasn't gonna bring up no, her whole situation. Let's say, let's say I was she, just gonna say like there, there has been <laughs> times. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. There has been times where like questionable shit was said to me that my friends have done, and I'm like, oh, hold on, side eye. But I actually didn't really say that out loud. But I was just looking like thinking it. Yeah. Because it's hard to tell them like, hey, like that's a little fucked up, you know? Is it? Um. I mean, it depends on like how close you are. Yeah, mm, I agree. Are you that. close with them? Like how close? Because I wouldn't. If anyone came I with like me with that information, you, I feel like the, yeah. Go ahead, bro. Sorry. <laughs> That's on nah, me. Now nah, Sean gave you this. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Uh, you carry go ahead, on, bro. bro. My fault. Nah, bro. I'm done. I lost. I it agree with you. I'd say I feel like the closer you are with somebody, the easier it is to just be straight up. Yeah. In in a lot of scenarios, for me at least. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't, don't be bragging about that shit. Yeah. Because some people be bragging about that shit. Cause like if if you're bragging or just like go ahead, go ahead. if like like let's say she were to get like like her man ends up cheating on her and she ends up crying to you like are you gonna be like well I mean you were doing some questionable stuff so maybe like say that one more time so let's say like she ends up getting cheated on her girlfriend yeah she yeah, ends up gotcha, getting cheated gotcha, on gotcha. or like disrespected in a way and you'd be like well I mean you're kind of bringing that energy towards yourself or would you kind of okay, just be like at that oh moment, i wouldn't have the heart to tell her that because she's already probably crying Shit, because i tell sh- one of y'all that right? really yeah, like, what are you guys doing that, questionable stuff yeah you guys it's like you got shit coming to you bro. really and he was devastated like I let's say sean was devastated i would say i would say drop it on me right yeah, really would, okay i would say don't I would, then that would be kind of like doing fake shit like i wouldn't be honest with you if you if sean but, came to me all the time with what you were saying like some shit like Oh, like, uh, like going out to the club, looking at girls and stuff like that. And he had a girlfriend, and then he's like, "Bro, she cheated on me." I'd be like, "I'm not gonna be sitting on the edge of the bed with him, like, like <laughs> holding him." I'd like, be like, "Yo, you brother, deserve like, that, bro. yeah." No, I'm like, not gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say like, "Bro, you deserve everything coming your way." 
Even if I didn't say anything to her. Exactly. Even if I didn't say anything to her. not saying that you have to do that. It's just, I think, the way we are. Oh, okay, okay. No, yeah, okay. I understand that, and I completely respect that. But for me, it's like when I... <laughs> <laughs> when I see a friend um, devastated and crying, my first instinct is not to tell them, oh, well, it's your fault, you know? Like, to me, I just like to console the person first and then maybe later... <laughs> I when don't know when things when they're are built up more. When when we can finally like joke about it, then I'll be like, hey, you know what? If anything though, like uh, you did some stuff too, so it's all good. Like what like PEMDAS that? type shit. Is like, that like far down the line though, or is that like like yeah, an hour later like, when they're done crying? At the moment, I I I don't I don't think I could. It feels like though, if someone did that to me, like if one of my girlfriends did that to me, I would feel like she would be throwing shade. Boom, I was about to say that. That sounds like shots if you say it later on. Yeah, like, you comfort me, and then you say later on, like, yeah. oh, you kind of had it coming to you. The second my friend breaks up with her boyfriend, all the bad things I thought about him were coming out yeah. immediately. Like, good, you didn't fucking deserve him. He was like this. Like, you guys were awful to each other. Like, yada, yada, yada. Both for him and for her as to why I thought yeah. this relationship is bad. Because I'm like, breakup, okay, you need to get perspective. You're going to be sad, so you got to think out for a second. So I try to, like, pull him out of it. I don't try to, like, keep him in their depression too much because otherwise then it's just like hold on this is not me trying to keep them sad oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this I, is me comforting them by the way yeah. okay i think i think just the way you uh like you sound when you say it and you say it so nice mm -hmm. you just gotta be direct like if nick told me that he would just tell me how it is and yeah. it would be done but I feel like, you know, you like you try and sneak it in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, okay, you'd hold be on. super nice yeah. and then it'd just be like, like so, yeah. wait, no, no, no. The thing is, I wouldn't even sneak it in there if somebody's crying to me. Like right, That's the way you said it. You're like, oh, well, you know. No, I does. said like maybe like down the line when we can finally like joke about yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, like you yeah. joke about your traumas and shit and you also joke about the shit you've done wrong, right? Nah, you get in like, trouble for that one. Yeah. Nah, you'd get in trouble. Yeah, if no you're matter, that's what I'm saying. Like if I, as, a, as your girlfriend. <laughs> but wait, I think you guys are misinterpreting what I'm saying though. I think it's what you're saying is, mis is being misinterpreted because of the way you say it. Huh? Like the way you say it is like. No, 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 Mado, let me tell you why my thought process is that way. It's because, like, let's say I told you that me and my boyfriend broke up and I'm crying to you, and then three months later we're like joking about it, and then you bring up the out fact nowhere. out of absolutely nowhere without us ever having a conversation about it okay, before. Okay, that like, is crazy, but I'm not talking about like I'm gonna bring that shit out of nowhere. Okay, like, but I'm, how then how would you bring it out? I wouldn't bring it up at all. But if, like, she's already joking about it, like I said, it's, like, when it's, like... <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, is that crazy drinks. to say? If we had a couple drinks and I was sitting with Nick and we were joking about how I got cheated on... <laughs> oh, my God. And Nick was laughing and was like, well, you kind of deserved it, right? I would freak out. Yeah. Or I would be like, yeah. what? It's because you're, you not, say you're not telling the full truth kind of right away. And okay. I'd be like, well, how long did you think this about me? Like, yeah. I get how what you long, mean, yeah. though. I, I get why you think it's like safer okay. because it's done, like it's passed. So yeah. you think you could bring it up. But sometimes like it's, being, it's valid with the way you're thinking. Yeah, but sometimes being more confrontational can be like better in a situation. Because like really, that. Yeah, especially like that. Because like then I would think like, oh, Madu was thinking this for about me and my my boyfriend's relationship for three months, but she never felt like she could think about it and like tell me this. like, Or like, I can't believe that she never said this back then when I was like, when I was talking to her about it, she never joked about it with me back then. Like yeah, that's our kind of relationship. Like why didn't she do it then, you know? Yeah. Damn, all of y'all would be thinking that deep. No, see, that's the thing. If, if you said it to me, I don't think I would think that deep. Like, if we were joking. I, I would, th okay, I would bro, think that deep. If, if it was that long. Like, no, no, personally, even if it was... Even, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. If it was me, and I think it's because I'm, like, thinking about if of how I would react. prefer right. somebody to react to me doing that. Gotcha, gotcha, so let's gotcha, say gotcha. if I was the one crying, like I wouldn't want somebody to be like, well, you kind of deserved it while I'm crying. Like, what the fuck? Like, it's it's different. It's different for guys and girls. Okay, I mean, personally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would not like that. So I wouldn't do that to a friend. Like, what the fuck? My bestie comes to me after she gets cheated on. Okay, maybe she did do questionable shit, but she never cheated on her boyfriend, okay? She comes up to me, she's crying, bawling her eyes out. Like, I'm gonna be like, yeah, well, you kind of deserved it. That's kind of fucked up. Like, I'm gonna comfort her when she needs it. Like, I really don't think that's crazy to say. And then like, I don't know. Maybe it's because like, that's just my relationships I have with my friends. Like, yeah. I don't know. We joke about shit. No, like, I know my own. friends. Like, yeah. I think maybe I, just don't bring it up at all. Yeah, okay, I you think that's I mean? valid, but I think like, how you just said, just <laughs> maybe just don't bring it up at all. Because <laughs> I, I feel like, um, because like, like I about, said, I'm not gonna issues. bring that shit up like out of nowhere. Like, I'm not gonna pull it and be like, oh yeah, I remember when he cheated you? Well, you deserve that. Like, no, no but, like, that's not how I'm trying to say. You're talking about like 
because you're saying like oh like it's a joking matter one day and then like someday you're like oh like this happened this happened like ha ha then they're kind of like wait a minute what the fuck that's just yeah. kind of like the same thing that you're yeah. saying it's got like a wait what the fuck we're kind of thinking the same thing like yo no what matter fuck? what like when you bring it up as a joke like i would think what the fuck yeah because you didn't bring it up like right in that moment at least that's that's my relationship that's the, i know i know for like for certain girls like comfort is the first thing that they want yeah. but i know that my relationship with my best friend is that we are very honest with each other and so like if Madu, if you came to me i'll comfort you first because i know that that's the type of support that you need but like for my my other best friend like i'm just like okay she needs to hear it directly and she needs to hear it very honestly from me because that is what's gonna like snap her out of it you know on top but how is how is telling her sorry how is telling her you deserved it like honestly like you did questionable shit too how is that gonna get her out of it at that moment like that's not gonna help her at all you gotta you gotta bring them all the way down so they can go only up go ahead Devin. i i agree with you i don't think you should be blunt with it from the get-go if my boy's crying i'm a i'm a let him grieve but I don't. I think. I think just no, that. No, I'm not talking about off the fucking. Bat. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna fucking hit it like that. Yeah, yeah. Let me explain it. Now nah, I'll explain it. I got. It, I got it. What the fuck, man? Okay. So I, I agree with that's Mario. what we were talking Mario, about. Mario, Mario, like, come, come, that's what we were talking about. No, no? that's not what I was talking so about. about. So what were you guys saying? Because no, you guys said like, if somebody comes to me, I'll go ahead and tell you. I'll fuck it. I think just far down the line, bringing it up out of the blue is just holy shit for the third. Fourth fucking time. Fifth. I think it's I'm five. Not, I think it's I'm five. not bringing it up out of the blue. I will never bring up a situation but about even as a no, joke. no, 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 not out of the blue, Madu. As a joke, Madu. No, no, no. I think it's still just a bad joke. No, up, not even as a joke. You I said will you not bring it as a joke. <laughs> yes, but it's not like I'm talking about like when they can finally yes. joke about it. Yes, yes. Like yes. laugh That's with what them. That's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. But I'm not gonna ever bring that shit. No, no, no. Okay. Nah, dude. We're going around in circles right now. Everyone agrees. Okay. Everybody agrees. No, it, Everybody it's, it's, it's you. the fact that you guys keep saying out of the fucking blue okay. is fucking I never said that. my head. Okay, let me let me reestablish my points. I would not make that as a joke far down the line, is what I'm saying, because people can interpret that yeah, way. As in like honestly, why didn't they tell me this? Do they felt the fuck this way. They've been <laughs> like fuck yeah, fucking who cares? Okay. If you're joking, you're joking. If they get mad, yeah. that's on them. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about like out of the blue with them bringing it up. What them bring it up is out of the blue because for, it's like, for the person you bring it up to is out of the blue. It for is them. out of the blue because they're if they if they say it if they're joking about it it's out of the blue already like oh shit in your mind Let's like say scenario there you're at dinner you're at dinner she says something about like I can never date a man again because all men cheat even though she was doing questionable shit in that scenario are you saying well you kind of did some questionable shit. Crickets. Yeah, you hear the crickets. Like, <laughs> what, what, are, what are you saying? That's that's how it is. She's like, you, y'all talking about men, and yeah. she's like, I would never, I, I never want to see another okay, man again. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like you guys backed me into the corner. No, I'm just no, I'm just asking. No, 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 no. To the point where I had to say like, oh, like maybe like later down the line, I would joke about it. You but would, it's okay, not like right, right. I wouldn't like, I wouldn't bring out of the blue. Not like, no, like, nobody's bringing it up out of the blue. Nobody's bringing it up. But that kind of does sound. But that kind of does sound like it though, because yeah. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't say that. In that scenario, you would just leave it. You just leave it alone. This is like three, four months, five months away. She yeah, might be even it, over him. Yes, that I would leave it alone because it. It, it was never implied. Yeah, it was never implied. Like that. Yeah. That sounds like so I don't know. Weird. First of all, that doesn't sound like a joke. And like me bringing it up, I feel like that's gonna seem a little abrupt. I'm talking Got about it. like if it's like smooth. Like I'm not. <sighs> what if she's talking about like oh my god like can you look oh at this god. girl she's like cheating no no no. Oh. can you look at this girl she's like cheating like haha don't they look so stupid what would you say then uh. it's three months in three months in oh she she's like cheating on her man so no like, no, no, no so this is this is so we're at we're at dinner together i just broke up with my boyfriend three months ago but hypothetically i cheated on him during my relationship with him and I'm showing you this girl on my Instagram and I'm like, oh, look at this girl. Guess what tea I found out? Like this girl cheated on her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Would you tell me three months later then, you knew this whole time that I also did some questionable so, shit with my boyfriend. I get it. Are you still following me, Maru? Wait, question questionable though? Like questionable, but you might think that it's cheating, but I think it's not cheating, right? Okay. Like, um, She's thought, flirting with dudes or something like that. Just flirting. Right. Or like one time I go out and I let a guy buy me a drink. Right. Okay. So what would you do in that situation or something? I just leave it alone again. <laughs> I should talk. 
come to an agreement. <laughs> we would all leave it alone. No, because I've been in this situation before where I've been Maru. A homegirl's done some questionable things and then she's like shitting on another girl for cheating. Yeah. <sighs> I think I might bring it up. You bring it up? You'd be like, whoa. I'd be like, damn, wait. Yeah, I think I might bring it up. I think I'd be like, wait, didn't you? you wanna talk. Didn't you do that? <laughs> didn't you like Loki yeah, do that that's though? Like, yeah, that's, that was our, that was that's, our point, that's right? That's what we're talking that about. We so you would. About. In like situation, that, in that yes. Yes. The way no. Christine yes. said yes. it, yes, I'd be like, wait. Then it would be out of the blue you, yeah. that you would bring it up. I think in our heads we were thinking the same situation, yes. but we just we just that's couldn't that's tell. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly okay. what I was thinking. I thought you were just whipping that shit out of a hat and just saying <laughs> some like funny ass shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no. no I now would, I'm there. I would never yeah. fucking it's quiet do that. at the table. <laughs> Remember that one time? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like you know that one time like you did some really weird shit with your boyfriend. No, I would never do that. See, and this is what I'm saying. Y'all made me sound worse than what i was trying to say like no hey, man, I, we're just trying to understand no i think yeah, we're, yeah, just, yeah, we're just trying to get you on the same page yeah. Yeah. i think i think every reason was valid if we're being honest i do agree with you though i think if like when you guys came to me crying about it i, I would definitely comfort you first i wouldn't just be like yeah no that's bro, not real no, i'm not gonna, I'm not not gonna realistic. hold my hand out yeah, and be like yeah, yeah. no bro i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm yeah. consolidate that's and then and then i'm gonna say that's what we're that's what we're talking about in our head we're thinking we're not thinking off the bat that's not realistic like you know what i mean if we're not gonna be like yo i see him crying you're fucking you are a shitty human being yeah. you deserve to get cheated on yeah it's like no nah, after this after this for a little bit i'll yeah, be like yo bro, okay, bro you were doing shit that was a little spectacle so maybe don't put the energy back into yeah. your once life once he says he once you. he says some shit like i don't know why she cheated on me Okay, I'm hitting yeah. him. I'm hitting yeah. him with the okay, bro. Yeah. That, that's that's definitely fine but the way you guys were there before it did not sound the like point that i was just trying to bring across was like I'd rather say it earlier on, so if I do mention it longer down the line, he knows that I already been thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, he already knows how I felt about the situation, and, and it's not like something, he's been feeling this way the whole time. Yes. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. That part. Okay, yes. I'm sticking by my yeah. point. I'm not bringing it up when she's crying to me, but later down the line, like Christine said, if she like brings something up like that and shitting on another girl for doing the same thing she was doing, then I'd be like, you were Loki kind of doing that too. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. But I'm gonna I'm take that as shots though. But I'll leave it at that. I'm I, I take kind no, of that is to shots, it. but it's valid shots. It's because valid why shots. are you doing that? Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, I say we wrap it up. Unless we got anything else to add, we were going around circles. I knew we were going around circles like ten minutes in, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna let it go <laughs> let out because I let want some go. money. Anyways, yeah. um, <laughs> it's also late, y'all. I'm. I think we're all tired. We're all I'm tired. tired as fuck. I'm not tired. I'm, I'm fucking spracked right now. Right. Thanks for signing into another episode of Suburb Talks. Um, make sure you hit that like button. Um, comment your. What should we do? Your favorite character in Alice in Wonderland. No, 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 no. Comment. What did we talk about today? Comment if you. What did we talk about before? If you've been cheated on. No, no, no. Let's not. Comment if you've been cheated on. No, no. Let's do something positive. Um, no, nah, fuck that. <laughs> comment if. You've cheated on somebody. <laughs> drop a two in the chat. <laughs> drop a two if, if you, you if cheated. If you came back that far in the video, drop a two in the chat if you're a cheater. Drop a one if you're not. Yeah. <laughs> if you, yeah that's and everyone way. go at each other in the comments. That would be and really go good. Go rip each other's stories. Uh, rip each other. Gen Z World War Three in the comments right now. Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Christine. I'm uh, Johnson. Tweezer. What's his name? Tweedle. Tweedler. Number uh, one. Alice in the Wonderland. Uh, <laughs> Ch Ch Cheshire, Cheshire Cat I'm um, Sage <laughs> I took off my thing Anyways guys We'll catch you guys On the next segment Of Summer Talks Peace out y'all Salud Salud Cheers Bye.